Hello, my name is Eduardo and I am here with another App Inventor tutorial. Well, if you remember, okay, in my previous video, I show you about this app. You think that you haven't seen this video? Oh, yes, this guy has a very nice voice. Mm -hmm. Check. Well, the idea of this video, well, of the previous video, was to show you this kind of uh, menu. I'm going to show you, okay, how to make this kind of moving that is an easy moving or movement. Yes, okay. So you are going to move things uh, with ease, okay. So that means that when you get to the final position, it will uh, slow down uh, its speed, okay. It looks really cool, and I will show you all the basic stock, uh, stuff for this, okay? So, let's start with this uh, tutorial. Ah, well, we're going to start going to App Inventor, and we're going to use a canvas. I'm going to show you first the basic idea about this uh, easing thing, okay? Because later on, you can use this kind of uh, procedures uh, in other things like buttons or I don't know movements or graphics, whatever sprites. Okay. Well, first we are going to create a canvas, canvas, fill parent, fill parent, and then we are uh, we are going to add a ball. Okay. Then uh, let's make this ball bigger. Let's make like twenty. Oh, it's very big, but don't worry. And then we add a clock and you set the interval to 48. Yes. Well, now let's go to the next part. In the next part, okay, we're going to start first uh, with the initial thing, okay? Well, sorry for the noises, okay? But it's raining here in Mexico. Um, but, and it's raining and there are some kind of neighbors that have some uh, noisy cars, whatever. Well, then we are going to start with this. So we have the ball and we are going to move the ball having this kind of uh, easing property. Okay, so first we have to set the initial values. We are going to set the, po the position of the ball at the beginning, but first we are going to create two variables that we are going to need. We are going to use here, okay, call it final x. Final X, I'm not sure if you, it is meaningful for you, maybe destination, but well, final X position, okay, and we're going to set this just to start to initialize this to zero, and then we're going to duplicate this one, and we're going to make a final uh, Y position, and also to zero, so, I'm going to sh uh, explain you later, okay, we're going to use this uh, to move this uh, thing, okay, basically the idea of this uh, easing property, it says that you are going to have uh, the position, for example, if we talk about X, we're going to, uh, to get this uh, thing, you have to use the final, well, the position, your current position, okay, plus the final position minus the uh, current position, okay, so because it is uh, and it's divided by four or something, okay, so I will explain you because I'm not very good to explain this stuff, okay, well, first we set these two variables, then in initialize, we're going to add them and we are going to set them to place the ball uh, in the middle of the screen, okay, so, but first we're going to set it, or the canvas, in the middle of the canvas, we go here, and canvas, 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 width, canvas, width, canvas, height. So for X, we're going to use uh, here. Oh, sorry, this is not X. Y, for Y, we're going to use canvas height. And we're going to divide this uh, by two. Here. It's times, no, divided by two. And we do the same for the other one, for X. But we're going to do it with width and that's it now we're going to set the ball we're going to set the ball duplicate x and y and final position here and here now we have the clock we are going to create the procedure for the clock 
okay so we go here procedure uh, let's just uh, sorry sorry and uh, we remove this thing but well lay it on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay well let's go here to the procedure well this is the basic idea as I told you first I want to modify the X position so let's duplicate this guy and then we are going to use math we're going to increase the position in X of the ball okay so X X X X X we are going to increase this position every time uh, we finish uh, cycling the clock and we are going to do it but we are going to add this the final position in X minus the current position okay and then we are going to add here we are going to divide this thing to make it smoother okay not very fast divided by 5 or by 4 and you have to test so let's use 5 in this case and for Y it's the same we just duplicate this guy and then we go here for Y Y, Y, and Y. Now, final position, it has to change. Okay, well, we are going to add here the procedure to the clock. Let's call it easy procedure. Yes. Now, let's go here. Uh, let's add it to the clock, sorry. Procedure, easy procedure. And that's it. It goes to this part let's uh, refresh everything let's add number one here refresh and it's in the middle it's not moving because we have to change the positions okay the final position so it's like the destination so for that we're going to use here touch down or touch up or touched okay let's use touch up you can use any of these ones we need to get the coordinates okay here from for a for x and for y so for this uh we're going to use this one set global final x position to the y to the x where we touch we duplicate and we change values to y and let's wait magic it's working now i touch in this part and that's it it's going to the touch and if you check the movement it goes really fast and starts uh, and ends very slow and let's experiment with the values here so what if we set it to 10 to 10 slower right but it continues with this kind of easy thing this easy thing okay What if we change, for example, the X and Y to 3? So that means that... Check this move. It looks really cool. That means that gets first to the Y position and then has to get uh, to the X position, okay? So, but in this case, Y is faster than the X. And we, we, if we make the opposite, what about if we set it to 3? And we set it to 10 and now it is quite opposite it looks really cool right okay so that's the basic idea okay so I wanted to show you this because this is the basic stuff to start making this kind of um, menu that I show you before okay so now this thing or this procedure you can use it with other things with other stuff like buttons for example I haven't tried with for example with audio okay with the volume but maybe it is possible okay so let's try it with a button okay so here in the designer I'm going to add a button and we're going to center everything here center center now I wanted to change my button so let's uh, call it zero okay and so what do we need we have positions and this but maybe we are going to create just 
Uh, I just want to modify the width of the button. Okay, so let's change it to duplicate and let's call it final width. Final width and button just to remember zero and at the beginning we set it. Okay, what if we set it in this case? I want to set the size of the button. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. I want to uh, set the size of this button. Maybe the width. I want to size the width of the button to what do you think about 50%? of the canvas 50% of the canvas width okay so to do that we're going to multiply this times 0.5 and that means that it's like half of the screen okay so the initial it could be like this one so maybe 0 0.5 it is like 50% okay so we just do it here do it and that's it okay now we want to change this value when I touch the button okay when I touch the button when I click the button I want the button to get uh, smaller okay so not very wide so in this case we're going to do we're going to use the easing procedure okay so let's try it let's duplicate this one and let's just change the values little by little first we need the position in this case it's not X not Y it is width remember so we go here to width of sorry okay so in this case it is this one and we remove this now we change this so it is not y in this case you just remove this it is width but button width we insert it over there and it's not global final position it is global final width okay and then we're going to change this for the other width now duplicate we go here and now so the procedure if we touch uh, the button well the button uh, has disappeared sorry my mistake nah just give here we refresh the screen it is getting slower I, I mean smaller why because it is the final uh, width position if you remember in this case it is zero okay so we need to change that what if we change it to 100 not to 100 not to 50 maybe 50 so let's refresh the screen to three four five and that's it that's the final position now what if I click the button and every time I click the button oh sorry oh, oh, oh. every time I click the button I change this thing okay I change the width to maybe the 50 percent of the screen so we're going to use this one or the canvas not the screen so every time i click the button we're going to set it to the 50 percent so if i touch here and check beautiful button beautiful now what if we want to reverse this thing well we can do it like this every time we uh, click we check this but if 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 uh, we set here if uh, variable we go here the final width button okay it is in this case is smaller or less than let's use this one duplicate less than let's say here well we set this value when we click else else we're going to change this duplicate and we're going to set it okay to 
let's say 15%. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm just experimenting. Yes, it's working. So that means when we click, it's checking this uh, kind of condition. And we have a, this very nice movement. And also you can make it, remember, you can make it faster if you change uh, this uh, value. In this case, I'm going to change this value. Okay, well, for the button, I'm going to set it to four and check faster, but looks really cool. And here, and here, and here. And that's the way, okay? Uh, we can set or use this uh, ease or easing procedure, yes? So that's the way uh, we uh, use easing procedure in um, App Inventor. It is not very difficult, okay? If you remember, check. These are different things. This is position, in this case, it's size, okay? And as I told you, I haven't tried with the volume, but maybe it is possible, okay? Maybe it's possible, but check. First, you have to uh, use this plus, okay, you are going to increment the first value, the original value, the current position or size, and then you are going to use a final or the destination, okay? So if you want a bigger or smaller or in a different position, and then you are going to uh, subtract this uh, from the current position, okay? And everything, it, it has to be in a clock. The clock, let's set it to 48 to have a very smooth movement, okay? And that's it. Okay, well, this is the first part of the tutorial. The next, the next, the next, uh, in the next video, I will show you how to make this uh, menu. But I'm really sure that you, maybe you have an idea, but don't worry, okay? I will show you in the next video how to make this kind of um, moving menu, okay? And I have another things for you to show you, okay? My name is Eduardo. It was uh, really good to be here with you. I will see you next time. And please, don't forget to share this video with someone who's learning App Inventor, just like me or like you, okay? Please share, um, like the video, okay? Please just show me some appreciation liking this video, okay? Well, my name is Eduardo. I will see you next time.